Friend. I'm Darsh. Welcome to our HMTF film channel. Mexico, 1673 Two young men present their mom with a pendant, which she says she will appreciate for eternity. She and her better half clasp hands with their children and dance, until the most youthful kid wakes up and sees that everybody is no more. He strolls around requiring his mom and sibling, just to observe the lady suffocating his sibling in the stream. The young man runs, just to be snatched by his mom and taken to the waterway too. Los Angeles, 1973 Social laborer Anatate Garcia is getting her children Chris and Sam prepared for school, yet they miss the transport. At work, Anna hears her supervisor request that collaborator Donna beware of the home of Patricio Alvarez, a mother with two young men, Thomas and Carlos. Anna is their case manager, and she hears that the young men have been missing from school. Anna persuades her supervisor to allow her to go to beware of them since she knows them all the more actually. Anna goes to the Alvarez home with official Claro. Patricia attempts to hold them back from entering, yet she is compelled to give them access. Patricia makes reference to that she has been hearing a lady crying. Anna goes by a storage room where she understands the young men are being kept, yet Patricia assaults Anna trying to hold her back from opening it. Claro pulls Patricia off Anna, and she makes the way for track down Thomas and Carlos inside. They are brought to a close-by emergency clinic where they have consumed blemishes on their wrists. At home, Anna attempts to invest energy with her children. She is a widow, as her better half was killed in the line of obligation, and it has been no picnic for her. Sometime thereafter, Carlos is awakened by what sounds like a lady crying. He attempts to awaken Tomas, however he doesn't hear. A watchman monitors them, and when he leaves, Tomas is out of his bed. Carlos follows him outside into the corridor. Tomas pivots and focuses to something in the mirror. Whenever Carlos pivots, he sees tears dribbling onto the floor before he gazes upward and is up close and personal with L.A. Yorona. Anna is called by analyst Cooper to go by the emergency clinic, leaving Chris and Sam in the vehicle. Tomas and Carlos' bodies were found in the waterway. Patricia is there, howling in despair and faulting Anna for causing her children's demises, as she was attempting to shield them from La Yorona. In the interim, Chris leaves the vehicle while Sam is snoozing. He heads toward Beware of the Scene, until he hears the sound of La Yorona crying. He runs back to the vehicle and awakens Sam. He momentarily sees La Yorona's appearance in the mirror before she begins attempting to move up the vehicle windows, however Anna returns time. The following day, Anna strolls by the Alvarez home and sees individuals participating in a kind of ceremonial purifying to avert awful spirits. She meets Father Perez, who makes sense of for Anna what is happening. She gets some information about La Llorona, and Perez makes sense of her origin story. Sam strolls outside by the pool with her straightforward umbrella as the breeze blows. At the point when she opens it, she gets a brief look at La Llorona. The breeze blows the umbrella out of Sam's hands and terrains in the pool. At the point when she goes after it, La Yorona shows up and snatches her arm, consuming her too. Anna goes to converse with Patricia in jail. She still furiously accepts that Anna caused her young men's demises. Patricia inquires as to whether they have heard La Yorona crying and on the off chance that they felt the sting of her tears. She concedes that she didn't appeal to God for the salvation of her young men, however she implored La Llorona to take Anna's children in return for her own. Cooper and Donna make an appearance to Anna's home that evening when they suspect something is going on with the children, particularly with the consumes on their arms. 
The children falsehood and say that they fell. After they leave, Anna goes to take care of the children. She hears a commotion in the haziness and furthermore sees La Llorona, making her shout. The children go into the room after she vanishes, and Anna welcomes the children to rest in her room. Afterward, Anna gets some information about the thing has been occurring. He tells her he heard La Llorona in Sam's room. Higher up, Sam is cleaning up when La Llorona endeavors to suffocate her. Anna and Chris hear the disturbance and go to save her. As they haul Sam out of the tub, La Llorona snatches Anna's arm and consumes her too as Anna sees her awful face with her horrendous tears. Anna goes to the congregation to ask Perez for help. He says he didn't put stock in the extraordinary until his altercation with a specific doll, Annabelle, yet he is aware of a previous minister named Rafael Alvera that can help. Anna carries the children to Rafael's shop to request help. In spite of the fact that he seems not intrigued, he concurs when Sam requests his assistance. Raphael goes to their home and uses apes to verify that there is without a doubt an effectively detestable substance tormenting them. It wouldn't make any difference where they go, as La Llorona would follow them. Raphael stays with the family around evening time as they attempt to figure out how to keep La Llorona out. He shows Anna that he had gathered La Llorona's tears to use as neutralizing agent toxin. She then shows up and tosses Anna against the divider prior to pursuing Chris and Sam. As La Llorona hauls Chris out the entryway, Raphael gets him and tosses her own tears back at her to consume her and send her out the entryway. He then, at that point, spreads seeds from an extraordinary tree across the entryway to keep La Llorona from returning. Notwithstanding, Chris calls attention to that she will attempt to get in through the secondary passage. As they rush to the back, Sam acknowledges she left her doll outside. She attempts to go after it without venturing foot outside the house and without breaking the seed line. As she pulls the doll back inside, the doll breaks the line, and La Llorona pulls her outside. Anu acknowledges La Llorona will attempt to suffocate Sam, so they hurry to the pool. She hops in to get Sam. However La Llorona begins going after her. Raphael then favors the pool to turn the water blessed and force La Llorona out of there. Anna arises with Sam and La Llorona's pendant. A beating sound is heard at the entryway. Patricia appears with a weapon, hell-bent on conveying Anna's children to the devil. La Llorona returns in the house, so Chris and Sam rush to the storage room to stow away. Chris takes out the pendant that he took from his mother and shows it to La Llorona. Briefly, she shows up as her previous human self and approaches Chris and Sam. Sam then unintentionally discloses a mirror, making La Llorona see her ghastly evil reflection and howl. Patricia has a shift in perspective and allows Anna and Raphael to approach the upper room to battle La Llorona. Raphael endeavors to hold her off with his cross, yet she tosses him back. Anna rushes to safeguard her children, and as La Llorona approaches, Raphael tosses Anna the cross. She utilizes it to skew La Llorona through the chest, making the shrewd soul be at last annihilated. 